Hello viewers, I welcome you in my YouTube channel at lecture series on labor laws first. Myself Dr. K. S. Nehaka. Friends, in this lecture we are going to discuss what is the concept of industry and the another concept what is the industrial dispute under Industrial Dispute Act 1947. Students, the Industrial Dispute Act 1947 is enacted to solve the industrial dispute smoothly and peacefully. Therefore, before discussing the concept or the provisions relating to Industrial Dispute Act 1947, we must understand what is the concept of industry and industrial dispute. Therefore, firstly we are going to discuss what is the concept uh, of industry and then industrial dispute but uh, there are some few introductory words see as you know students the industry is backbone of economy uh, and specifically the nation like India where the agriculture and the eco industries are the backbone of Indian economy so for that purpose the industry is necessary and the industry must run smoothly and peacefully because it contributes in production it contributes for the economy and it satisfy the necessities of society etc so the peaceful running of industry is necessary if any dispute arises in industry it harms the production so it affects or it worsely affects economy of nation it affects the industrials and ultimately it affects the society because the products and services that are manufactured in industry may not be available for society to satisfy the needs of human being therefore if any dispute arises in industry that industrial dispute must be solved quickly it is necessary in the interest of industry so that is the reason why the industrial dispute act 1947 is enacted basically the act is enacted to prevent industrial dispute this is basic object of industrial dispute act so to prevent the industrial dispute by providing all those mechanism all by providing all those provisions firstly it is an attempt of act to prevent the industrial dispute and if even by uh, though there is a prevention if any dispute arises then to investigate and to settle the industrial dispute this is the second or another object of industrial dispute act the third object is to establish and maintain industrial peace and uh, relation then next object is it uh, to establish different authorities to establish in the different authorities for the settlement of industrial dispute and regarding the scope and object uh, scope of this act this act is applicable to all the industries and the industrial dispute therefore we must understand what is the concept of industry and what is the concept of industrial dispute therefore firstly we are going to discuss what is the concept of industry see generally we all know what is the concept of industry generally we can understand whenever we use the word industry we can understand that understand that there is a particular premises a particular building where certain processes relating to manufacturing etc that are going on but uh, here we have to decide uh, uh, discuss what is the definition of industry as per the industrial dispute act 1947 see friends firstly we are going to discuss what is the definition of industry section 2j of uh, the industrial dispute act 1947 it tries to define what is industry and according to this section uh, industry means any business trade undertaking manufacture employment of workers handicrafts and industrial occupations so such activities are mentioned as industry 
so here the definition it just makes a reference towards certain activities that can be called as an industry this this activities are like the business activity trade activity these two activities are very wide activities and then certain under undertakings that are related to manufacture the different uh, manufacture is the base for the industry where the particular products or services are produced then for that purposes the workers are employed similarly the handicrafts industrial occupations etc there but see what this definition uh, is given under section 2j it was not the exhaustive definition and the nature of that definition was not very clear therefore this definition was insufficient to include what kind of establishments that are to be included into the definition of industry because as you know the basic uh, behavior of human being is that uh, human being always try to avoid the liabilities that are imposed by law that is the reason why this definition was insufficient to include many establishments so there were many dispute relating to whether any establishment comes under the definition of industry or not because as just we have discussed the scope and object the act uh, is applicable to all those industries and the industrial establishment so but if any premises is not uh, or it doesn't comes under this definition then that employer may not be liable to follow what the obligations that are provided by that therefore there uh, there were many disputes and the disputes were referred to courts and on such a dispute there were many confusing decisions or the contrary decisions by the courts on particular establishment and in certain uh, decisions a particular if any decision the particular uh, establishment was declared as a industry in another decision of court the same establishment was excluded from the definition of industry therefore uh, there were many uh, different contradictory decisions uh, regarding on uh, regarding the concept of definition or on the definition of industry see as you know in state of bombay versus hospital mazdoor sabha that was the case where uh, the bombay high court gave the decisions and where it held that the hospital was industry so therefore the uh, hospital was considered as a industry and the hospital was uh, covered by the industrial dispute act so if any dispute arises in a hospital that should also be solved through the process or the mechanism that is provided by the industrial dispute act similarly there is another case law that was in management uh, of sadarjang hospital versus kulbir singh in same case uh, in another case the hospital was not held as industry so see in this two case in one case the hospital was declared as industry and in another case it was not so the contradictory uh, contradictory decisions we can see so it created confusion in the application of definition so that it required the amendment or it required uh, the modification of industry so at same time another important incident happened and that changed the definition of industry under industrial dispute act that we must see so so what was that incidence that happened and that was the bangalore water supply case see friends this case was happened and finally decided by the supreme court in 1978 which is reported in ar 1978 supreme court page number 548 where see in this case in bangalore water supply versus rajappa in this case the supreme court has to discuss the uh, definition of industry so it uh, discuss the definition of industry and it evolved the following principles to widen the definition of industry so this definition was widened by supreme court in this case to include maximum number of premises or establishment in the concept of industry therefore to make by which Uh, the industrial dispute can be made applicable to such industry so the supreme court evolved these principles these principles are as like number 1 the first thing 
see uh, the establishment run or uh, run with or without profit motive is industry whether it is a public industry or private industry this is the first principle that is evolved by supreme court so there is no matter there is no matter that particular industry is run with profit motive or without profit motive that is industry therefore such kind of industries are also covered by industrial dispute act or again it is not matter whether that particular industry or the establishment is public or private it also comes into the definition of industry then second principle that is evolved by industry is the undertaking governed by no profit no loss base it is also industry so second there are certain establishments that may run with no profit no loss basis as like there are certain organizations which works for their memberships they may manufacture the product for their members only or they may provide certain goods and uh, essential services to their members so their main object may not be to earn huge profit but their object may be to serve for their members so such establishment also can be there but there are also are uh, such establishments are also included into the definition of industry so then third principle is that if any organization clubs etc they are running again with no profit nor uh, not loss basis it is also included into the definition of uh, industry so these are some principles that are evolved in this definition uh, in this uh, decision that is bangalore water supply case apart from this principle the supreme court evolved a triple test to determine whether a particular establishment can be held as a industry or not so this triple test is evolved uh, we have to see what is the triple test and according to that the supreme court evolved this uh, test to determine whether any activity is industry or not and this triple test is number one first test is there must be a systematic activity so if there is any systematic activity that activity must satisfy this test so if there is a question to determine whether a particular activity is industry or not so there must be a if that activity is a systematic activity that activity uh, the nature of that activity may be anything like that may be the manufacturing that may be the distribution that may be the transportation whatever it is but there must be a systematic activity that activity must be systematic so there should be the planning whatever the things that uh, by which it activity can be called as a systematic activity. secondly that activity must be organized by cooperation between employer and employees so in conduct in operation of that activity there must be the cooperation between employer and employee so the cooperation uh, between employer and employee is necessary and see employer and employee is nothing but one kind of relation and that relation comes uh, because of the employment agreement between the parties so such activity there must be the cooperation between a parties and there must be the employer employee relation between such parties and thirdly such activity must be organized must be conducted must be carried out for the production and distribution of goods services or anything to satisfy the human wants if such activity satisfy fulfills this three test then such activity will be considered as an industry as you know third uh, test is such production or the distribution of goods and services must be done to satisfy the human wants see business activities trade activities commercial activities all these activities are made to satisfy the human wants so such things are sold to human being to satisfy their uh, wants etc therefore when such activity satisfies this this three test then that activity be called the activity will be called as an industry so it doesn't requires whether that activity is done with or without profit no motive 
uh, it doesn't matter who is going to carry out that activity whether it is a public activity or a private activity or whatever the thing is whether there is any no profit no loss basis is there it doesn't matter so this is the definition so it uh, it means what the definition that is evolved by supreme court in this case it is very much wide to include most of activities in the concept of industry so after this uh, uh, judgment by supreme court the decision by supreme court in a bangalore water supply case the definition in industrial dispute act is also amended what the earlier definition that was provided by the act now that is replaced by new definition and this new definition is uh, replaced inserted by the industrial dispute act amendment in industrial dispute amendment act 1982 and this amendment is made by consideration of what the principle that is evolved by supreme court in a bangalore water supply case and according to the newly amended definition the industry means any activity which is carried by cooperation between employer and employees for pro production, supply, distribution of goods, services with view to satisfy human wants or wishes. So, if you go through this, uh, through this definition, you can find out what the triple test that is evolved by Supreme Court in a Bangalore water, uh, water supply case that is included into this definition. So, this is the uh, definition, but there are certain exceptions also. But this definition does not include any agricultural operations, any hospitals, dispensaries, educational institutions, institutions of charitable purpose, khadi gramodhyag, domestic inquiries, etc. So, this is the definition. So, this definition replaced earlier definition. The definition is provided by the parliament after consideration of Supreme Court's judgment. So, Friends, this is the concept of industry. Now, you will be easily understand what kind of activities can be termed as an industry as per the provisions of Industrial Dispute Act or to which establishments the Industrial Dispute Act is applicable. Now, we are going to discuss the second definition and this second definition is what is industrial dispute. See. The basic object of Industrial Dispute Act is to prevent industrial dispute and even if any dispute arises, it shall be solved through peaceful mechanism. Therefore, so here the main object of Industrial Dispute Act to solve the dispute, but we must know what is that which can be called as industrial dispute. So therefore, we must see what is the definition of industrial dispute. Section 2K of the Act provides the definition of industrial dispute and according to that definition industrial dispute means any dispute or differences between employer and employees comma workman and workman comma which is connected with employment or non-employment or terms of employment or with conditions of labor of any person see friends if you go through this definition you can find this definition is very wide definition to include any kind of dispute that happens in industry because see firstly it provides uh, which are the parties in between this definition and uh, this dispute is there so parties to disputes are employer and employees workman and workman uh, uh, and employer and workman see and secondly, it provides what shall be the subject matter of that dispute. It, what shall be the subject matter of dispute. And according to this uh, definition, the subject matter of dispute will be the matters relating to employment. Secondly, the matters relating to non-employment. Thirdly, the matters relating to terms of employment. Or fourthly, it is relating to conditions of employment or the labor of any person. So this definition is very wide definition so this the scope of this definition is very wide and the words employment and non-employment are very important in this definition therefore any dispute which is connected with employment or non-employment it constitutes the subject matter of industrial dispute and to that effect the schedule second third and fourth of 
industrial dispute act provides what shall be the different subject matters of industrial dispute so friends if you uh, you uh, you see this definition regarding that there is a case law also what shall be called as industrial dispute and in this case the case a uh, name of this case is the workman of dima kochiti estate versus the management this case was decided in 1958 so in this case the supreme court analyzed the definition of industrial dispute and it provided the following essentials as a industrial dispute and according to this decision see following will be the essentials of industrial dispute number 1 it is it includes any dispute or the differences between employer and employees or between workman and workman so industrial dispute can be between employer and employees workman and workman employer and trade union of um, uh, workman etc so this uh, these are the parties to such a dispute secondly it provides the second essential and the second essential of this dispute uh, this industrial dispute is the subject matter of industrial dispute and see the such dispute must be connected with employment or non employment or the terms and uh, terms of employment or with conditions of employment uh, see it provides what shall be the subject matter so which are those matters to which the dispute will be connected see if you go through uh, these two words employment see employment it means whatever whatever the dispute that arises between employer and employee that arising out of employer and employee relation so <laughs> when a person when any person is employed by the employer through the agreement this is called as his employment and uh, due to uh, because of that employment if any dispute arises it means that is the dispute that is related to employment secondly non employment when a employed person becomes non employed then it is called as a non employment so that can be the retrenchment that can be a closure that can be or uh, layoff also or uh, dismissal whatever it is so whatever the dispute arises due to such a thing that all comes under the defini- uh, concept of non employment and as you know their dispute can be regarding the terms and conditions of employment also so such disputes are called as industrial dispute therefore to raise the dispute there must be certain industrial relations and that is uh, there can be some uh, demands from the employer it should be raised to demands uh, the workers should raise the demand to management and the management must have resisted it or must have rejected it then what the dispute arises that dispute will be called as a industrial dispute so friends uh, so we have discussed this two concept what is the industry the industry is nothing but anything which is done by employer and employee with their systematic activity cooperation to satisfy the human wants such establishments or activities are called as a industry and the industrial dispute means any dispute between the parties that is related to employment non employment and terms and conditions of employment are called as industrial dispute and such industries and industries uh, industrial disputes should be regulated by the industrial dispute act so friends if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you friends thank you